Hello, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the transaction list inside Fastmember. So you'll find this on the Fastmember menu under transactions. And basically whenever a purchase is made on your site, it's going to be stored in this transaction table. You'll see the product that's been purchased, the payment processor, the transaction ID, the status whether it's a test transaction or whether it's active or being cancelled or refunded, the amount and the, if there was a fee for that transaction on the payment processor and also the payer email. So for example, if the payer was paying through PayPal, but they signed up for your site on a different email address, then you'll see a different email address here than the actual member email. Now if we click on the member, that will take us to the members list, but we'll also here we'll see the transaction time and there's an action column where we can actually refund the transaction. So if we click on the member name, this will take us to the members list and we'll see all the purchases for that particular member. Over here we'll see an action list and if it's a subscription product we'll be able to actually cancel the subscription from here. So let's go back to the transactions list and you'll see here when a subscription product is cancelled there'll be a notification here that the transaction has been cancelled. And again if we wanted to refund one of these transactions we can perform the refund action and the status will change. So I'll quickly show you this. So there's going to be a pop-up box that asks you whether you want to refund. And if we go ahead and refund the transaction you'll see the status now changes. So we can also filter this transactions list by searching for a particular transaction ID. And that will pull up the transaction. Or we can search for the payer email or the member name and it will pull up the transactions for any of those particular searches. There's also an option here to download a CSV file of the transactions if you need to process them elsewhere. 